pit review. Want something reviewed? Leave a comment down below, and if I use it, it goes in the video. You know the drill. First review. You know what? I'm going to review this with two questions and one statement. Number one, how is it fun? Number two, why are you cheating in a block game? Go get a job or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or fucking something. And number three, you must die! Alright, so let me put it this way. If you had a grandparent that was just a little bit boring, but otherwise fine, you wouldn't just fucking game end them, would you? And if you would, you may need to invest in some anger management or some therapy. So, short story shorter, you can't just game end old things because they're boring. It's history. The best perks to Spire are literally just the ones that work. The three perks I would most recommend are First Strike, Gladiator, and Mind Man. The first two are there because, well, they work in Spire. Most perks don't, so take what you can get for stat bonus. Mind Man is good because you can always build up to the numbers and keep your position. Uh, if you have all four slots unlocked, then I'd recommend using either Safety First for more defense, or, if you can afford it, Thick for more health. The fishing nons are a social creature. Majority of them fish in packs so that they may have the constant reassurance that they are doing the right thing in the pit. As shown by the fishing nons food chain, their position makes them very vulnerable to being hunted. When a pack of fishing nons feels threatened, they attack like piranhas, all swarming the enemy, attempting to overwhelm them. Sometimes it's a success, others it is not. Due to their low intelligence, many packs are eradicated by any sort of predator at all. It's a sad truth, but in nature, there must always be a predator and prey. There are two methods to stash items. I'm going to be showing you both. But for both, you are going to need an alt account or a friend. For method 1, you're going to want to first hold the item you want to stash in your hand. In this case, it's Fesh Greens. You type slash offer, the username of the other account, 1. Then all you have to do is completely fill up your inventory. In this case, I used arrows. And wait for your other account or friend to either decline the offer, or you can just have them wait it out. The command you put in actually sends a trade offer to the alt account for that certain amount of money. In this case, I basically tri uh, offered one fresh green for one gold, which is why you need to have someone very reliable to do this. As you can see, he declined the offer, and thus my green pants are now stashed. For method number two, you're gonna first wanna trade all the items over to the alt account uh, that you wanna stash. In this case, the green, my fresh greens and my apples. Then, once again, fill your inventory up. I used arrows. Then all you do is have the other account trade you back the items you want to stash, and there you go. All the items that gets traded back to you will be stashed. Kung Fu can be bought in the Renown shop for 40 Renown after Prestige 9. If you head over to Upgrades Man, as always, it'll cost 10,000 to unlock it. So you'll do no sword damage. Fist will do a lot of damage. I think it's a little bit more than a diamond axe, so 8.5 or 8.25. And you will also gain speed 2 for 5 seconds every 4th strike on a player. Now this perk is great for both iron and diamond streaking, and I've even seen people use it for hunting along with gotta go fast to increase their speed so they can't be hit. I wouldn't use it with mystics. If you are going to use mystic pants or bows, you may as well use a sword to increase your damage. Overall, fun perk, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Money! <laughs> you can unlock Iron Pack at Prestige 1 for 5 Renown. You'd be surprised, but I actually would highly recommend this item perk thingy mob, or I'm not sure what you even call it. Uh, it gives you an Iron Helmet, which is a better alternative to both Safety First and Fancy Hat. And with 5 Renown, it's super cheap, comes super early, 
and just great to buy. Overall, 10 out of 10. You can buy Beast Mode in the Renown Shop for 10 Renown at Prestige 3. It comes with R&R, Tough Skin, Tactical Retreat, Monster, and Beast Mode. First is R&R. Every 3 kills you gain Resistance 1 and Regen 2 for 3 seconds. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but there's just better, so I wouldn't recommend using it too much. Tough Skin, on the other hand, is extremely good. After 40 kills, you get your full 24% uh, decrease in damage, which constantly is amazing for outside of mid or being hunted or literally anything. Highly recommend it. Makes Beast Mode perfect. Tactic Retreat? I don't think it's too good. I wouldn't use it. It gives regen and weakness, but that means you can't do damage to anything, so you're just taking a whaling. Monster's pretty good. Two extra hearts, so when you're outside of mid, it can give you a hand if you're in desperate need. And Beast Mode. So, this is extremely good, just because, for some reason, when you Streak, or when you use uh, Streaker, it gives a ridiculous amount of XP, okay? More than Overdrive, more than Highlander, more than all the other Mega Streaks. So, this is worth it just for this. Overall, I'd give the Beast Mode Kill Streak 10 out of 10. The amount of XP you can get from beast mode along with tough skin makes it worth the 10 renown